Question number two. To find the value of the limit involving set. Okay, first of all, what you need to do is just to substitute the value of 4. When I substitute the value of 4, I will get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. Alright, okay. So, therefore, I have to multiply with the conjugate of the one that has a set. Right. so you choose. Right. so I'm going to multiply here. Limit x minus 4 over set x minus 2. Multiply with set x plus 2 over set x plus 2. Okay, here. Okay, what you do is to choose conjugate which has set. Alright, okay, so this is still x approaching 4. Okay, next, alright, okay. Remember, to expand, alright, the part we choose the conjugate only. So, here, okay, the numerator, please don't expand. Don't expand. You just need to expand, alright, expand part we choose the conjugate all right okay okay so here we will have so don't expand the pi okay the numerator here so just let it be as x minus 4 times x plus 2 okay but the one the part that we choose the conjugate so this one we need to expand Right, so here we will have x minus 4. Right, so look at here class. Something to be cancelled out, so I can cancel out the x minus 4. So if you expand the numerator, right, so we cannot cancel out. Right, so we cannot cancel out if you expand the, uh, the numerator one. Right, for this case, the numerator. So just expand the part we choose the conjugate only. Right, okay, so here... Right, we are left with the limit of set x plus 2 when x approaching 4. Right, so therefore, here we have set 4 plus 2, so here we have 4. Right, okay, okay look at b now, guys. Right, if you substitute the value of negative 1, so we still have an indeterminate form here. Right, so what we need to do now is to multiply with the conjugate. So, okay, we will choose any part which has the uh, set one. Right, sorry. Okay, so I will choose this one. Okay, so the conjugate will be set. 2 plus x plus 1 over set 2 plus x plus 1. Okay, so, right? So, just expand the part we choose the conjugate. So, therefore, the one that we need to expand as this is this one. Right? So, this one, expand. Because we choose this part as the conjugate. But don't expand the denominator. Don't expand. Remember that class. Alright. Okay, so now I need to expand the part that we choose the conjugate. So here we have limit x approaching negative 1. So here I will have when we expand, so we will have 2 plus x minus 1. Alright, so at this point we don't need to expand. Just let it be like this. Okay, we just have to simplify right now. Here, we will have x plus 1 only. The denominator x plus 1, so 2 plus x plus 1. Alright, something to be cancelled out. So, I can cancel out this one and this one. 
Alright. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so now I am left with limit of x approaching negative 1. 1 over 2 plus x plus 1. So therefore here, okay, I can substitute the value of negative 1. So I will have 2 minus 1 plus 1. So here I will get 1 over 1 plus 1. So I will have here 1 over 2. Okay, thank you.